The recent confirmation of Yahya Sinwar's death marks a pivotal moment in the ongoing conflict between Israel and Gaza, generating a ripple effect among political factions and deepening the region's turmoil. As the leader of Hamas, Sinwar symbolized resistance for many, and his departure prompts questions about leadership and strategy within the organization. Khalil al Haya, Sinwar's deputy, publicly acknowledged the loss, asserting that Hamas remains unwavering in its fight against Israel, cementing the group's determination despite internal upheaval. al Haya's statements reveal the contours of Hamas's future strategy, highlighting uncompromising terms for any potential ceasefire. He outlined key conditions that include the cessation of Israeli military operations in Gaza, the withdrawal of Israeli forces from the region, and the release of Palestinian prisoners. This steadfast position underscores the fragile balance between armed resistance and diplomatic negotiations, exposing a reluctance to yield to external pressures, even in the face of leadership transformation. The geopolitical implications of Sinwar's death extend beyond Hamas's internal dynamics. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu described the event as a significant blow for Hamas, framing it as a moment of opportunity for Israel. He believes it signifies a turning point, potentially accelerating the group's decline. The varying responses from global leaders contribute to the layered complexity of the situation U.S. President Joe Biden labeled the death as an act of justice, urging Israel to leverage this moment to pursue peace a sentiment echoed by leaders from France and the UK, adding layers of international pressure on the Israeli government. As the dust settles from this development, the future trajectory of the conflict remains uncertain. al Haya's reaffirmation of Hamas's resolve, coupled with his warning regarding the hostages held by the group, indicates that a cycle of retaliatory escalation may continue. This complex scenario not only poses immediate dangers for civilians caught in the crossfire, but also shapes the broader regional landscape, complicating prospects for peace. The killing of Yahya Sinwar may act as both a catalyst for change and a reminder of the enduring challenges that lie ahead. As factions realign and strategies evolve, the lingering question persists. What will it take for lasting peace to prevail amidst the chaos of conflict? The international community watches closely as the narrative unfolds, hoping, perhaps in vain, for a resolution that transcends the generations of animosity and unrest.